Malaysia's Anti-Corruption Commission has seized a prime commercial property owned by the family of former Finance Minister Daim Zainuddin. Financial executives close to him told CNA that the seizure of the multi-million dollar Ilham Tower took place yesterday after Mr Daim refused to respond to the agency's petitions seeking his and his family's financial holdings. Now, the crackdown is part of an anti-money laundering investigation into a 500 million US dollar corporate transaction that took place in 1997. It involved two entities, Renong and UEM, which were once at the heart of the business empire linked to the then ruling Amno Party. Sources say Mr. Daim received an order from the agency in late May to declare his holdings and other assets belonging to his family members. But the former finance minister is said to have rebuffed those demands. He had insisted during questioning that he had nothing to do with the deal. Now, for more on this, Leslie Lopez from CNA Digital joins us live now. He is in Kuala Lumpur. Leslie, thank you so much for joining us. Now, you broke this story yesterday. Perhaps thank you could you. tell us about this deal involving Renong and UEM. And what connection does it have with the one-time ruling Amno Party? Or perhaps I'll start with, uh, you know, Amno's connection with UEM and Renong. Uh, until 2001, uh, Amno held uh, extensive corporate interests in, in, the, in the country and in several strategic sectors of the economy, um, including banking, media, property, um, and also uh, the construction of the toll road, you know, that runs the stretch uh, of Peninsula Malaysia, the length of Peninsula Malaysia. Uh, UEM and Renong were the key uh, key entities holding all these investments um, uh, for UMNO. Uh, sometime in November 1997, uh, UEM stunned the market, you know, by moving to acquire 33% of Renong um, for 2.3 billion ringgit. You know, the deal uh, upset a lot of uh, market participants and triggered a meltdown into in, in the KL stock market, which never really, uh, from which the market never really recovered. You know? And till today, it remains a mystery why Renault, uh, UEM actually did that deal. Leslie, I also want to focus on the timing. Why is the probe only happening now, 26 years after the transaction took place in 1997? The well, that's that's really what's uh, what everyone is asking these days. What's behind this? And uh, given the timing, given the you know the deal at the time, I, I covered the deal at the time, and you know, the finance minister back then was Anwar Ibrahim, and this was you know just under a year before he was sacked, and Anwar was very very upset with the with the deal because of what happened to the market and uh, wanted certain uh, remedies, actually, which I think led to the straining ties between uh, Mahathir, Daim, and uh, with Anwar. So uh, clearly politics is, uh, has a strong dimension to this, and we will need to see what happens, you know, how this thing plays out. Uh, what does the MECC do next, and what does Mr. Daim do to try and gain control of his, you know, this very... this. Uh, very valuable piece of property. Leslie, appreciate you speaking with us. That was Leslie Lopez reporting live from Kuala Lumpur.